I just want to quickly uh, clarify this issue, Slovenian issue, uh, about uh, Loise Petrle, about Dmitry Rupel, about Janis Jansha, about all these pro-Slovenian heroes, uh, national heroes, that accomplished Slovenian independence, in a parenthesis. Because this issue is dedicated to a lot of bullshit about how uh, it's also what we see in Slovenia on a daily basis. They act like they're being attacked, they're being exposed to the violence, they're being scared, they're being intimated by the so-called leftists. It's all about the leftists, about so-called communists that... Uh, are trying to get them, uh, I don't know, killed and so on and so forth. Uh, this is basically a politic that should never fit in the picture of Slovenia. And I tasted on my own skin because of the lawyers of Petrle, Janez Jansha, Dmitry Rupel and other people, the so-called pro-Slovenian independence people, uh, have contributed heavily to the torture, heavily to... This situation, they deprived me of life, they supported psychiatry against me and have directly engaged themselves in lies, or I should say through the lies, into direct violence against me. Uh, but still pointed at Milan Kucha and it's, uh, and it's even, they dared to say there was nothing they possibly could do for me and so on and so forth. It's like this, it's a myth. That I knew it was clear it was a myth and it can be easily, easily dispelled by just here you have the photo, you can see Janez Jansha, you can see Dmitry Rupel, you can see and that's when you if you type into Google engine, you can see a Putin laughing right there. You can see that's what basically you get if you if you Google Rupel Putin, this is basically what you get. You don't get anything uh, that the two would be handshaking or anything like this, hugging each other and so on. You don't get to see any of that stuff. You see? You don't get to see anything. That's all you get to see. Let me see if you get some more. What do you? What exactly do you get to see? Uh, it, it shows him how he participated uh, in some talks and stuff like this. Uh, actually, you see him here, handshake and put him like, expressing like, here I am, look at me. It will be my way, basically, in that sense, right? You see, this is how these photos, these issues that were used literally to brainwash uh, they hoped for, they would add it to the myth, but I didn't play by these notes. I played by the memory. I played, played by what I remember. This is a traitor. Big one, too. I already have spoke about him, I could go on and speak and speak and speak more about this shit as much as you want because he did a lot of bad stuff with his involvement in this case. He did not contribute to nothing other than deterioration of my conditions. I am not going to see myself in as any kind of member of the society because I was excluded from society. I was explained I was deleted, really deleted, that I exist in National Register, that I do have all the documents and everything, but I don't really exist in that sense. You know, we're going to put a lot of people believe this guy is uh, it's the same shit. The same thing. You won't see one with uh, Putin anywhere. He's actually taking quite a strong stand. I mean, he wants to be seen as tough, you know, but at the same time, make up your own mind, basically. This guy contributed to a lot of crime against me. A lot of crime against me. A lot of crime against me. He deteriorated my conditions under which I was tortured, just as I stated for Rupert, to deteriorate even further. And he built his public persona. 
he built his presence personality by literally using me depicting me how they are doing to me and how there is obviously nothing that he was capable to do right it's obviously nothing how he was capable to do then we have a fishy guy that was also deserved for the so-called independence uh, that's basically who is what they claim that's the way it was they claim that this is let me see yan so what the controlled opposition looks like and you can see him here uh he came really really short uh this guy literally started to hug himself with the russians really really close but this is supposed to be the opposition of Milan Kuchan, for whom everybody knows. Hugged himself and kissed himself with Vladimir Putin. We are already closer to the truth. And the closer to the truth is when we can come, when we consider the previous photos. Because this guy that you see here, Yanis Jansh, is a very close associate of Peterle and Rupel and all, other, all others that were involved in this stuff. It was a matter of choice. Nobody pushed, nobody rushed anybody, a gun down the throat or anything like this. Nobody, nobody rushed anybody, any kind of gun. Nobody was a victim, nobody was a hostage of any of anybody, as these people, these people claim they were my that they were my hostages. Here we can actually see even arrogance displayed. That's how they wanted, basically, for me to see the whole thing, yes. Because this man talked to me in front of the laptop. You're not going to see me shaking hands with Putin and so on and so forth. You're not gonna, But you're not going to see me anywhere and so on. So they literally, on, based on MKUltra brainwashed, they observed what I expected of them, how I have pursued each one of them demanded and basically have photos posted on the internet to make a false impression about who these people really are. And you gotta go here and do the with the Petrle, with the Rupel, the same thing. It was a matter of choice. If these people would be really so tough, how much the fuck would it take to mention, by the way, you need to stop the torture of this and this this individual and so on. It was not in their interest. These are all Udba people, same like a KGB assassins. They are out there to sit inside of the parliament, basically to stick the chair where they sit. In each one of those chairs they occupy, these people are there to stink so much so that truth would be stopped at the entrance into the parliament, the entrance into the session. It would, not, it would not even enter due to so many chairs that stink there. Many of them are even empty with only their names displayed on their seats. And this is, this is basically how, this is how democracy works. This is how they purchase and kill and get people murdered, killed. The same shit, the same thing. If you are so tough, if you are so and this and that, so what happened? What is it, I mean... I'm sure that you you realize that by displaying this kind of attitude, if the element would be so hostile, you wouldn't live three fucking days in an environment if you would be. So what is it? I mean, what is what is to you? I mean, this is basically the easiest way to see through the Slovenian world of lice and dementia, how they lie. This is a heinous little nation full of lice, scumbaggery, murderous little nation that made pedophilia, rape, human trafficking, hijacking, torture, actually legalized throughout the world by using MK Ultra, using literally being used, allowing to be used by British royals, by the CIA, by MI5 and so on, to literally make this thing, the whole thing, fucking thing, legalized. A fucking legalized one. This is what this case is about. This is how you know. This is how you will know that basically this is the way it is. That's how it works.
Maybe these are the best photos, I don't know. Just do a little Google, go, go, go over, and you're gonna see, and you're gonna see. It already started to hurt them. They don't like this pot photos to be displayed. They don't want it. It started to hurt it. And I don't want to be seen momentarily right now at this time, it's not convenient. So they don't want to be seen in that circle. It's not different, it's not different times. That's what usually happens during the war and so on. But things change. They fall back into place, whichever whichever convenience, whichever way the wind blows, basically. All right. Thanks for watching this video. Play yourself a little bit with the internet. Play yourself with it a little bit with it. It's so fucking easy to see through you, through your lies. It's so easy, just as I have written yesterday, to tell you who you are and what you are being paid for. Who hired you, how they hired you, why they hired you, what is expected of you, and what exactly you are doing. What this procedure is all about. It's so easy. It's so easy what I would be doing during what I should be actually examined and cured for the damages that was done to me. It's so easy what you're doing, what you're getting paid for, how you're getting and whom you're getting paid for from.